Welcome to Belgium. Lawson onto the grass. Kashmani has gone straight into the side there. Oh no, big, big crash. Both drivers, okay. Zane Maloney, race winner in FIA Formula 3. It's feature race victory for Doohan. There is Theo Borcher. Liam Lawson heading to FP1 with AlphaTauri in Formula 1. Surely one of the biggest days of his motor racing career. A driver who's won at every single level. Up the motor racing ladder. Of course, Red Bull reserve and test driver as well. Lights out for the sprint in Spa and a perfect getaway for Ralph Boschong. Onto the grass goes Lawson trying to take P2. He got an amazing getaway and was confident enough to put his car on the grass and he gets up to second position. And now hugging the inside line, look at him looking out of the left mirror because here comes Liam Lawson. He goes past and he goes into P1 on the Kemmel straight. He's turned fifth on the grid to the lead on lap two. Liam Lawson wins again in Formula 2. A brilliant drive to be Jack Doohan. Yeah, good job, guys. That was honestly a dream. Thank you. We're going three abreast, out down the straight. Fitzpaldi round the outside, gets squeezed over the cut. There's a oh, bit of contact. Do they end up in the gravel? They all are still pointing in the right direction, and I'm not sure how. Lawson and Fittipaldi fighting corner after corner. Can Fittipaldi go all the way round the outside of Ravage? The answer's no. Lawson, a double podium for him. And it's an immediate move. Not a surprise when he's up against his teammate. One place gained. Here we go, up the inside before the back straight. That's really helping him clear the traffic. Traction out of here now, off he goes. Drugovic is up to ninth place. Making progress, taking another place. And it's up to eighth position for Felipe Drugovic, championship leader on the move. He's got to be careful not to tear through these tyres, though David Beckman is the next car ahead. And he's trying to go through a corner where you just don't see passes, but he's got so much more grip, he's got so much fresher tyres, and he's got seventh place as he goes through. Looking for the move, getting the move, not even a contest. He's going to go to the inside. Will Porcher be able to fight back? No, the gamble pays off, and it's more points in the tally. I think Felipe's up the inside of him, though, down to Rivage. It was a good effort, but through goes Dragovic, and he's up to fourth place. Dragovic got within six tenths of a second, but he couldn't quite get his way to the podium. Right onto the brakes we go, into this again. Oh, oh no, Kushmani has gone straight into the side there of Francesco Pizzi. Pizzi has gone round. Oh no, and Kushmani into the path of one of the ARTs as well is Victor Martins. And there's a big, big impact there and actually ripped the whole front nose cone off. Look. As we've got Hajar goes round the outside at Blanchemont. Wow, that's oh. brave. And then was that the safety car? Has he gone into... Oh, his, his dash went off. He must have gone into a safety mode or something. His dash switched off, so he's lost power. But he's got it back and then decides to not stay on the track. There is Theo Borcher. Theo Borcher is wide and losing a couple of positions. Halga goes through. He's going Armstrong slow. He's goes going through slow. and he's got a problem. The driver second in the championship. This could be pivotal. He is so distraught already as he sees his chance of major points fade away, knowing that his main rival for the championship is P1 right now. Oh no, big, big contact, big incident there. Big, big crash. Zane Maloney and Oli Gertha. Both drivers walking away from the incident with the assistance of the medical team. Up, ready on they go now. And Maloney with the yellow front wing there pulls to the outside. Is he going to go through into the lead of the race? The boy from Barbados here trying to charge through into the lead. Makes his way round the outside. Zay Maloney leads the way here at Spa. Zay Maloney, the boy from Barbados, makes his way. He is a race winner in FIA Formula 3. Yes, yes, so it's easy, so it's easy. Finally, yes!
was involved in the red flag crash yesterday. After a lot of hard work from the team, they come back to win. Zay Maloney, a winner in FIA Formula 3. Oli Gertha goes to row number two with fourth place. Oh no, big, big contact, big incident there. Big, big incident at Blanchimont there. Zane coming over to see if he's, I believe to see if he's okay. Here we go, Oliver Gertha, the guest driver uh, here, of course, for the next couple of rounds. Give back a position in a safe way to Collet without losing other position. Zane Maloney being told to give the place back, but now he has to give back two places. So Oli Gertha leads the way. Oli Gertha, what a fantastic weekend for him. Fourth place. And for the second time in FIA Formula 3, Jack Doohan takes victory. It is going to be his day. The young man from Australia, a winner here in Formula 3 last year, a winner here in Formula 2 this year. He weaves across the line. Three times he's a winner this season, but for the first time in Formula 2, it's feature race victory for Doohan. Yes! Yes! Holy yes, boys! It's Jack Doohan's day, and the Australian heading to the top step of the podium. Yeah, 26 points between the top six. Felipe Dragovic, the boy from Brazil, is getting ever closer to the championship he dreamed about. We'll be back with you on Friday in Zandvoort. Hope you can join us then when the championship battle continues.